morning people how we doing out there it's tuesday second day back to normal well normal we say um second day back to work and back into the swing of things and uh, my second day back here to help you alleviate your aches and pains of everyday life through movements and mobility today tuesdays are all about deep hip stretches to really provide some good relief around your hips, bum and lower back area. And I love to dedicate a day to it because it is something that a lot of us struggle with. And unfortunately, it's not going to be something that you can get rid of um, quickly. So if you've been sitting there in pain with sore hips and a sore back for a few days, you might actually have to do something uh, that you're definitely going to feel the feedback from uh, to feel the relief from uh, tight soreness. Um, and those dull, achy areas really come from sitting down for too long or not doing any movement for too long. And that's what causes that annoyance around the hips areas. Um, so yeah, morning to everybody who's popped on. Lovely, lovely to see you again, uh, Amanda. Uh, well done. I wonder how if it's still snowing up there for you today. I've just backed away from my camera, so I won't be able to see you. But if you don't know me and you're like, oh, who's this lady talking about stretches? I am Lisa. I am the health and confidence coach. And I am here pretty much every day to show you simple mobility routines and stretches that you can do to alleviate the aches and pains of everyday life we don't need to be in pain every single day forever it's not normal um, and today is dedicated to hips so uh, what I want to do is cover hips I'm gonna do bum I'm gonna do lower back and I'm also gonna help you out with this uh, pain that goes all the way up the back of the leg there morning people how are you all doing yes look at you all popping on morning morning Okay, let's get to it. Um, okay, cool. So um, definitely after the Christmas period, I definitely see an increase of complaints of the lower back and the hips. So if this has been new over the Christmas period, it's cool. Um, because obviously we don't move around as much. We're sitting there, we're eating and we're watching a lot of telly. So it's all good. I hope you enjoyed it. But we're going to move it away today. And actually, I think I'm going to start this one on the floor. Yeah, I'm going to start this one on the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves into a nice tabletop. Yes. I want you to press your anchors into the floor. If you don't know what your anchors are, they are your hands in this instance. And you anchor by pressing and screwing them into the floor. What I'm going to get you to do now is stabilise your knees by squeezing your bum. And then I'm going to get you to use your anchors to press your bum all the way down to the floor. If you try to do this movement and you feel like your arms have gone all the way down, but your bum hasn't, you can do two little steps with those hands, re-anchor them and press your bum down to the floor a little bit more. Nice. Now that we're there, what I want you to do is squeeze your bum. We're going to start to walk our fingertips all the way forwards. We're going to try and keep that head low. Nice. All the way forwards and have a deep breath out and squeeze that bum while you do it. Nice. This is a great stretch for lower back. Probably feel that goodness right now. Love it. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to start to drive our bum into our hand anchors. Or our anchors. Yeah. And we're going to squeeze the bum. I'm just going to do a little shimmy back. Perfect. Nice. Squeeze the bum into the floor. Doesn't matter if your hips are not touching the floor. My hips are not touching the floor. But I'm feeling a great stretch in my hips. It's lovely. Nice. So we're going to hold that there for just a moment. And then we're going to come down to the floor. And I'm going to shimmy back again. Love it. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to get you to do from here... It's just gently uh, keeping one hand on the floor. You're going to reach your opposite hand over and we're going to try and grab our foot. Now, if you cannot grab your foot, you can use a towel for this and hook it round. 
so that you can keep it down um, and you can grab your toe, it doesn't have to actually be the ankle, all good. From here, what I want you to do is have a deep breath in and then as you breathe out, you're going to squeeze your bum so that your hip is squeezing into the floor. Uh, if you're doing this with me now, you're definitely going to be feeling that. It's a good stretch. It feels like it's thigh because it's at the top of the thigh. It's actually a great move for the hip flexors and a great relief for the lower back there. We're just going to hold that for a little minute. Nice. We're going to put that one down and we're going to change legs. We're going to put one hand down for a little bit of support. I've got my other foot in my hand. So I'm going to have a deep breath and I'm going to squeeze my bum all the way into the floor. Yes, it hurts, but it's worth it. Nice. Perfect. Great hip flexor stretch here. Nice. And although this one might not feel like it's going to help you out, especially if you have sore hips and sore back, this is actually one of those magic moves that you think isn't going to help you because it doesn't feel like it's stretching the area that needs to be stretched. But it is. It's helping your hip flexors so that your back and your hips don't have to be sitting in a sore area anymore. Love it. We're going to put that one down then. Good stuff. We're going to come back up into our tabletop and I'm just going to get you to take your legs out a tiny bit wider than they were before for the child's pose. Nice. From here we're going to re-anchor those palms into the floor, we're going to squeeze our bum and we're going to push ourselves back down into a child's pose just like we did before with our legs slightly wider than they were before. We're going to do the good bum squeeze and then we're going to walk our fingers all the way forwards. We're going to have a good deep breath out whilst we do that and we're going to enjoy that nice stretch. Well done, well done, well done. From here we're going to be bringing ourselves back into a tabletop and we're going to do some fire hydrants. This is one, it's a favourite exercise of mine. It's good for the bum, it's good for a bum build but it's also amazing mobility for the hips, which is uh, why it's one of my favourites, because you're kind of getting two, two in one there. So fire hydrant, it is how it sounds. We're going to anchor. We're going to get our bum on so that our knees are stabilised into the floor. And then using one knee, you're going to get your knee like a fire hydrant. Yeah, I'm going to piss up that fire hydrant. Perfect. It's not my, it, I didn't call it that. Okay, when you do your fire hydrant, I want you to use your bum to make your leg move. So yes, it is your knee that's moving, but the movement is coming from the bum cheek. You know I can't count, so I'm going to do a few more and we're going to call that ten, yeah? Love it. We're going to re-engage, re-anchor, re-stabilise, and we're going to do another ten over there. Perfect. And I really do want you to focus on it being your bum that makes your leg move. Even if you can't feel it, the fact that you are making the effort to tell your bum to do it means that it will be making the effort to do it. So we've done 10 over there and 10 there. Perfect. From here, we're going to bring ourselves into a nice pigeon stretch. You know I love these. So we're going to anchor. We're going to bring one knee up. We're going to stick one foot out there and then we're going to use our anchors to press us down on top of that leg and we're going to feel that nicely in the bum and in the hips. I really do this stretch pretty much every day uh, just because it's such a great one for bum and hips at the same time and the hamstring one. I love to do that one every day as well. Nice. This is more of a hold in one, so probably hold it 20, 30, 40 seconds. How long are you feeling good for? Nice. And then we're going to have a little change over. Going to bring one knee up. We're going to stick one foot out. And then we're going to engage. We're going to squeeze that bum. We're going to have a nice little deep breath. Perfect. Nice stretch up the glutes or the bum and the hips. Great. Nice, we're going to sit here for just a second more. Well done, well done. What we're going to do 
Next is a little roll over so that we can do the hammies. Um, and a hamstring stretch is something that we should all do a little bit more of. And that's because this is the one that has that, um, the sciatic nerve that runs all the way up and down it. And a lot of people complain about feeling this soreness or this dull ache that goes up here. And you will be surprised how much a little bit of movement and a little bit of stretching of that hamstring can bring a really nice relief to that uh, dull, achy pain that goes all the way down the leg. Notice that I'm going through some big circles with my toes. I love to draw circles with my toes. And that's because this is working in a range of motion. See how big my circles can be? And actually, when I draw big circles here, I feel it all the way up my leg. My ankle's getting a great range of motion while my calves are. And uh, that nerve that goes all the way up the back of the leg is perfect. So I usually do five circles one way. And I usually bring five circles back around the other way as well. From here, I like to do a very gentle bounce of encouragement. Very gentle. <laughs> nice. From there, I'm going to straighten it. I'm going to flex the toe down to my face and I want to hold it where it hurts for a few seconds. Nice. I used to hate doing these. This used to be one of my recovery exercises that I was doing um, whilst I was getting over a back surgery. And they used to hurt so bad. And there, there's still some days that they don't feel amazing, but you learn to get used to that. It's a nice, it's a nice stretchy feeling instead of, uh, it just helps you get rid of that dull achiness that's going all the way up there. And no, they might not be pleasant, but they are effective. Love it. So I've done a few circles there. Nice, I'm gonna do a very gentle bounce of encouragement. Perfect. I'm going to straighten that leg, I'm going to flex that toe down to my face and I'm going to hold it where it hurts. Perfect. Nice. Three, two, love it. So we're going to bring that in, well done, and then we are going to take ourselves over and you're going to bring yourselves up nicely for me. And that is a nice way to uh, get a little bit of relief for the lower back and the hips there. And I hope that you found that useful. Good morning, everybody that's popped on while I was over there. Um, Happy New Year to people that I haven't said hello to yet. And uh, do get at me if you've got any questions. Good morning, good morning. There is snow, well done girl. She's got snow up there, we're all a bit jealous. Because <laughs> we don't have any snow, it's just cold. Love it. Thank you all for joining me, as ever, every single day, as you do. I do hope that you're finding it useful. And if you have done any of them stretches this morning, please tell me that you did it and how they made you feel. Um, also, if you're suffering, if you're a sufferer of everyday pain and you found this stuff uh, works, then why don't you go ahead and press share? Because if it helped you, it's probably definitely going to help somebody else. Okay, my guys, girls, and everybody else. Does anyone have any questions for me? No, love it. If you are watching this later and you have got questions, um, don't feel like you have to wait for a live. You can always uh, send me a message or just comment on the video and I will get back to you. Love it. Okay, then I'm going to wish you all a very good day. I hope you have a great day and I shall see you all in the morning. And yeah.